Hello and welcome. In this short video, I'll be demonstrating the value of NetSuite's resource allocation functionality within the Services Resource Planning, or SRP, module. The, for the demo today, I'm going to be just assuming the role of a project manager. And right now I'm looking at my project manager dashboard. A handful of things just to point out that I can have on here that can make my life easier as a project manager would be uh, a navigation area where I can go to, to very commonly used uh, pages or reports or screens within the system such as, uh, you know, adding new projects and uh, growing our resource allocation chart, which we're going to go to shortly. Third important port that might be to have a, a summary view of every, every project that I'm managing, uh, as well as, you know, what the estimated work has been for each project, the actual work completed, and a nice graphical view as to the percent complete of each of the projects of mine. And another example might be, uh, as more of management by exception, to be able to to view milestones of projects that I'm, that I'm associated with uh, and getting some, some status as to the, uh, the timeliness of them. When are they due or is something overdue? Uh, if it's just about to become overdue, I could take some corrective action on that. Maybe I'd sign some different resources uh, to that. So just a quick overview of, the, of, of a project dashboard. Uh, from the project portlet, I can also go ahead and drill into any project that's of interest to me. So I can drill into, say, communication installation here and go into the project record itself. And the project record will have a lot of uh, high-level information as, as far as the start dates, end dates, estimated work, actual work, and things like that, uh, but also details uh, regarding the schedule, so the work breakdown structure of the project, including uh, tasks, subtasks, milestone tasks, uh, visual view as to, you know, the progress, uh, you know, color-wise uh, for each of the, the tasks, and then details as far as estimated work, actual work, uh, and a nice graphical view per task as to how far, you know, how, how much completed time has been on each, on each task. And the focus today is really more on resource allocation. So if we look at the resources within, within a project, we can get a resource list, all the folks that have been dedicated to the project, and you can see a number of folks here. Uh, make note, too, that Brian, for example, has been allocated in a, for, in a couple different time frames uh, within, the, within the, the entire project scope. Uh, with it. So the idea is that the folks can be can have a uh, a percent allocation for each time frame. They don't have to be allocated 100% uh, for each day or each week. And as we see here, we've got a number of different allocation percentages. And there's also the ability to determine whether somebody is soft allocated or hard allocated. So soft allocated means that their time can be moved around; it can be altered. Hard allocation is just that the time is set; uh, it can't be moved or changed or reallocated to another resource. So the project record gives me a great view of the details of one particular project, but as a project manager, one of my major challenges is that I want to have a, a really a global view across all my projects and all the resources that I have available to me. So what NetSuite does to facilitate that is it gives me a resource allocation chart that I can access. And this resource all allocation chart is very configurable, first off. So what we'll see is that I've got a, a view of, you know, many of my the consultants that I'm working with and projects that they're working on. And the view that I can have of these, of the different pro, uh, resources can be altered. So right now I'm looking at consultants, but I can also create views based on my own filters, such as project managers only, maybe re general, uh, generic resources, which we'll be looking at shortly. So to create these is very simple. Go ahead and edit a view, give it a name. And I can choose, you know, particular resources to include. I can choose a certain billing classes that I may want to focus on, as well as a subsidiary if we're in a one-world environment. And also maybe just maybe filter on only employees or only vendors or only generic resources. It's very simple to configure that. In addition, I can collapse the information within the chart and get a, a very summary view of all the resources and their total allocations throughout the different time periods. Uh, and expand everything as we saw before. And as I hover over the information, that I can easily see the information such as the start dates, end dates. Uh, we see on this one, uh, I'm doing a partial allocation of only about 14.5% uh, for Abby within this one project. So she'll be working uh, on a four-month period, but only sparsely within that period. And lastly, the, the information that we see. So we're, see, we're viewing things by percent here, percent allocation. Uh, but I can alter the view of the information by going and setting preferences. 
So maybe I want to look at, instead of percentages, I want to look at hard hours. I can change that. If I want to change some other characteristics of how things show, then I can check some boxes there. And maybe I want to have the chart density be uh, dense as opposed to relaxed. So I can fit, fit a handful more allocations on the same page. And then you also have the ability to change some of the color schemes of the percent allocated uh, thresholds and, and that you see here. So these are configurable as well. So we'll go ahead and save that. So now we're looking at things that in, in, terms of, in terms of hours. In addition to allocating defined employees, as we see here, and vendors as project resources, NetSuite also supports the use of generic resources. So if I change this to generic only, then I collapse. I'll take a look and see that through, with a project, when I'm forecasting on the future, I may not know exactly you know, which person is going to be working on the project, but I do know that I'll need certain type of skills. So I'll need a consultant, a business analyst, and so on, uh, scheduled into the future on projects. And with this, I could go ahead and see, you know, am I going to have any bottlenecks in the future? Right here I see that I've got a, uh, a red 110%, meaning that I'm going to need uh, more than one resource to be able to, to satisfy the need of this time frame for the consultant role. So that will help me schedule out the right people in the future on these different projects. Let's flip back over to our consultants. And so far we've just been viewing information, but we can go ahead and, and use the allocation chart very interactively to, to manage the actual allocations themselves. So if I scroll down and I take a look at Brian Oates here, you see that he's over-allocated for a short period of time in the week of fe in, in February. So I can go ahead and, and take a look at other resources that may be appropriate for this same project. So the communication installation project here, he's got 32 hours. I see Alex up here is also at uh, a resource on that same project. He has the same skill level because I know that. So I can just go ahead and drag that up here and reallocate easily that, those 32 hours away from Brian and to Alex. Now neither of them are over their, over their scheduled time. I can also take a look at different resource allocations and say, you know, if, if I need to extend it out in the future or maybe pull it more into the, into the, in, uh, a sooner time frame, I can do that. So this, this allocation of the week of March, we determined that we're going to need Brian on here a little bit earlier than that, so I can just go ahead and hover over and drag it to a period of the week before, and I can even go ahead and just say, you know what, we're going to allocate even more hours to him during that time, we'll say it's going to be 60 hours. So giving him, allocating a portion of that time frame uh, within, you know, for that new project allocation. So let's save that. And we'll go ahead and save the entire chart to make sure that all the changes we made to our for resource allocations have been saved to the system. And it's, this is going to update the project records, uh, employee information as well. So very simple to be working with the allocations, and I get a great view, a great, you know, complete aggregate view of all of my resources. So the other challenge I might have is I want to add a brand new resource to the chart or to, to, to a project. So I can go ahead and write from the chart here and say let's go ahead and add a new allocation. And if I know the employee that I want to add, I can just select them. Or if I don't, I can go ahead and use a very simple to use but efficient skill search. So I can say, you know what, I want to look for somebody within the weeks, the week of uh, actually February 23rd to February 27th. And I'll say that we need this person allocated about 50% of the time. So you can also narrow, narrow the list down by, by excluding or including certain billing classes, so different type of people that we, we want to bring in, uh, maximum labor costs. So if, if, if the client or we are we're cost conscious about the project itself, then I can make sure that we don't add anybody to the list or don't consider anybody that's over a certain labor cost. And then if the customer really wants to have more experienced consultants or folks on the project, then I can also filter by the minimum, or, minimum of, of years experience for that employee. And lastly, uh, NetSuite is a very configurable skills category list. So I can create as many of these categories as I want based on my own company's uh, needs and what this, you know, our skill terminology, and add, you know, X number of these different skills as a filter. So I'll add ERP, and we'll submit and see what, how many resources fit the, fit the bill for our, our criteria. So we have a handful of resources that we can choose from. If we want to go ahead and just sort by things, I can just click the, uh, the header, 
maybe sort by skill level or labor costs and so on. Or I can also say, you know, I want a finer, I'm going to tune this a little bit more and say, not only do I need ERP experience, but I need people that have uh, intermediate experience. And that narrows it down to a couple people. So a lot of flexibility there, and I'll just go ahead and say, you know what, let's add Abby to the project. And what project is going to be the ERP integration. And we will have her work uh, that same time period that we were looking to, to schedule her for, so we'll go up to February and say the 23rd to the 27th. And we're going to allocate her only, though, for it's one week, we're going to order her for 20 hours. And we'll make this a soft allocation in case we need to, to modify that. So now we'll see, we'll add her. We're going to add that 20 hours, the ERP integration, over to Abby's allocation, uh, total allocations. And we'll save that. Great, so that's an overview of the allocation chart. So to summarize the value of NetSuite's resource allocation functionality, uh, I get a real-time macro level view of all the resources and all the projects they are allocated to. Uh, the chart visually alerts me when a resource is going to be over-allocated and allows me to reallocate work to other resources to level out the load. And finally, it provides the ability to use a comprehensive skills-based search to achieve new resources, to find, sorry, to find new resources to existing projects or new projects uh, in a very efficient manner. Thank you for watching this demonstration of the services resource planning functionality.